What we do here is go back, 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 back. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Mello. Halle Bailey recently gave birth to a baby boy named Halo, with the father being DDG. Now, I've already covered Haley and DDG's relationship, situationship, whatever it is, I already covered it. Today, I wanna focus on Chloe and Halle together. Now, to be honest, I just knew it was that Chloe that was gonna get pregnant first. The way she be dropping that ass, throwing it back, and busting it, I It had pregnant written all over it. But interesting enough, a mother always knows. Around the time that Hallie had confirmed that she had given birth, and with a little bit of shade too, she said in her caption that the world has been eager to meet you. You know, she definitely gagged the masses with that caption. You know, she she ate that one little thing, that, that, that one little thing. And I think that's why a lot of people were upset. That girl said, here you go, and continue to mind your business. But a TikTok video started to resurface of the two of them with their mother. And in that video, their mother is answering some questions about the two of them. Check this out who is more financially responsible who goes out more who spends the most money on unnecessary things who will get married first who will have kids first now as you can see their mother always knew that Hallie would get pregnant first but i don't think it's the exact way her parent envisioned it as i believe they grew up christian see let, let, let me talk about some real quick y'all met chloe and Hallie during the ungodly hour i met chloe and Hallie during the kids are all right their song happy without me still lives in my head rent free so how exactly did we end up with Hallie being pregnant first and chloe being overly sexual i think a few things they grew up their interests changed, and Beyonce. The world first got a glimpse of the two sisters doing a cover of Beyonce's song, Halo. Now, while I can't insert the clip because you know they're singing and copyright, here's a screenshot of the two sisters when they first took the world by storm. Now, they would eventually get signed to Beyonce some years later for a reportedly six album deal, allegedly only worth one million. Now, is one million a lot of money to the average person? Hell yeah it is. I can do a few things with a million dollars right now. I could definitely make something shake for that kind of money. But let's put it into perspective. Now, Holly was allegedly paid a little bit over one million for the Little Mermaid movie. Now, for one movie that maybe took a year of filming, she's already made more than that than what her album contract is worth. As of now, Chloe and Halle have only released two joint albums for Parkwood. So they still owe four given if solo projects are not counted. And exactly how long do six albums take to make? Let's try and put that into perspective. Stay with me. Take someone like Nicki who is currently dominating female rap. Now she signed to Young Money in 2009 for an alleged six album deal as well. That was 15 years ago that she signed that deal. Now, just in December of 2023, Nicki just released her fifth studio album, which means that she may still owe Young Money one album. Now, if it took Nicki like 15 years to release five albums, how long is it going to take these two sisters? So as you can see, their music contract may not be the best right off the bat. Now, after signing their deal, the sisters released their first album, The Kids Are Alright. You know, the album as a whole, it wasn't my vibe, but I did enjoy a song or two. Like I said, Happy Without Me lives rent-free in my head. You know, the album didn't receive a ton, if any, commercial success, but the two of them also got booked for the show Grownish around the same time. Now, I can single-handedly say I watched that show for the two of them. Now, Yara Shahidi, she's okay, but I feel like she's just another light-skinned actress who gets parts literally just because. Just like Zendaya. Zendaya. Now, I know the two of them just caught some strays, but Zendaya cannot act to save her life. Like, let's be real. The two sisters' career seems to be going pretty steady. You know, they had their album out, and not only that, but they were appearing on TV. Then nobody. Nobody at all. Here comes their smash single, Do It. Now, this song took the world by storm and honestly came out of nowhere. Nobody asked for it, but 
nobody complained either. The song was honestly fire and it was a breath of fresh air. Then after the success of their song came the album. Now, a lot of people took notice and some took offense to the name of the album, which was called Ungodly Hour. That's where we started to see the shift with these two sisters. The music was much more mature now, it was much more sexy, and they were just all around talking about different things. Chloe started twerking online once she discovered y'all liked her body with the busted challenge. And honestly, life has never been the same. One thing I do want to take the time to do though is apologize to Chloe. And this is more so on behalf of y'all, you know, I ain't do nothing wrong. You know, but on the flip side, here's also the thing. You know, I'm all for a woman discovering herself and discovering her womanhood. But why does a woman discover who she is? Why does it always have to be sexual? You know, what happened to getting an education, traveling, getting an apartment? I just feel like there are so many ways to discover who you are as a woman that don't necessarily require you to take your clothes off or twerk every chance that you get. And I just wish someone taught and showed Chloe that because it's pretty obvious that no one did. I mean, just look at the sister. Already got a baby at 23. But I digress. Now, where does Beyonce come into all of this? Well, Beyonce being their mentor and the person that they're signed to, I would say that she has a pretty significant part in influencing the two of them. You know, to what extent that influence is, I'm not exactly sure. But I imagine that it has to be a lot of influence in that she's doing. I mean, look at Haley, right? She's an R&B singer just like Beyonce. You know, the father for child, he's also a rapper just like Jay-Z. And I use the term rapper very loosely when it comes to DDG. But I mean, even look at Chloe. She was linked to and Cloud chased off Gunna real bad, you know, and Gunna, he's also happens to be another rapper. Whether it's conscious or subconscious, Chloe and Halle have definitely tried to follow in Beyonce's footsteps. And another thing to note, Chloe has opened up and she shared about the strained relationship between her and her mother. Now, that strained relationship didn't come into play until after being signed by Beyonce, allegedly. Y'all know what they say, all money ain't good money. Now, social media seems to be up in arms because Halle can't stop shoving her baby down our throat. And you know, honestly speaking, I don't mind at all you know i'm actually very happy that she chose to protect her peace but it does make you think you know what's next for the two of them chloe released an album that didn't receive a lot of commercial success you know it only sold about 10,000 copies this first week i could have did better than that holly starred in a disney movie that did pretty well but it definitely underperformed at the box office according to disney standards you know honestly speaking at this point i would definitely encourage the two sisters to just sort of regroup and revamp that whole innocent disney princess thing i don't think it's working anymore those two sisters yes they're young but they're also grown now and i don't believe not one of them is as innocent as they you know maybe try to come off to be i mean twerking online and dressing half naked all the time and having sex unprotected that ain't exactly innocent is it you know i would personally like to see these two sisters evolve and do something a little bit more mature i think ungodly hour was a great step in the right direction but i think the audience is looking for a little bit something more real now honestly speaking i don't know if solo music is the way for these two sisters to necessarily go right now but the two of them together now they're a force to be reckoned with nonetheless i'm definitely rooting for the two of them definitely giving holly the side eye with this whole baby but i have so much more respect for chloe now damn them tables turn don't they if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to go ahead and give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down if that's okay too. Don't forget to drop a comment down below to let me know your thoughts. Now, what do you think about Chloe and Holly? Do you like the two of them or could you maybe care less? What do you think about Holly's pregnancy? Do we maybe need to be taking out the group chat now? And as always, if you're not already, please make sure to go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Make sure to hit that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any videos. I hope everyone has a great rest of their day and I'll catch you all on the next one.